Hello and welcome to TR Physics and today I'm going to give an example of using the potential in radial fields um, formula. So this formula looks like this. Okay, I've just put my pen there. So the formula for electric potential in radial fields is electric potential is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught Q over R. And this Q here is the thing causing the field. If I wanted to know how much energy an object ha is even given or needs to be given to leave the field, I would be using this formula here. So this one here, this Q here, is the thing in the field. And what I'm actually going to do today is I would like to know how much energy it's going to take me to move this minus one coulomb charge from this position in the field to this position in the field. I want to know how much energy I need to do that to actually get that involved. So I'm going to be you finding information. Okay. So a really good way of working out the change in energy is that if you know the energy at the top and you know the energy down here, you can then work out the difference, the energy that needed to be supplied or the energy that needed to be taken away to actually move the object. So for example, at the moment, this object in a gravitational field requires 100 joules to leave the field. At this position here, it requires 80 joules to leave the field. So for me to move it like that in the field, I needed to supply 120 joules to move it. Okay, so what I need to do is if I can work out the potential and therefore the energy needed at this one and then the potential of the energy needed here, the difference in the energy needed for this negative charge to leave the field would be the energy that I supplied to it in the first place. So I'm going to call this position A and I'm going to call this position B. So... At A, I'm going to work out the potential of the thing causing the field at that point. And the thing causing the field is this plus 2 um, coulomb charge. Okay? Um, and this is the important thing. Remember, this formula is the thing causing the field. So, potential is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times by 2 over 2 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, so grabbing a calculator. So this here is 8.99 times 10 to the 9 times by 2 over 2 times 10 to the minus 6. So the potential here is 8.99 times 10 to the 15 joules per cooling. And the energy of the individual objects is going to be 8.99 times 10 to the 15 equals energy over... Now, this charge here is the thing that's in the field, so that's going to be a minus 1 coulomb. So my energy is going to be minus 8.99 times 10 to the 15 joules. So to leave the field, I need to add energy. I need to add 8.99 times 10 to the 15. So that's at A. I'm now going to do it at B. Do the exact same thing. So eight point times two. So this is going to be 3 times 15 times 10 to the uh, 3, 3 to the times 10 to the 15 joules per cooling. So the energy that the one cooling charge is going to feel So this is again is minus 3 times 10 to the 15 joules that my object needs to be given to leave the field. And as you can see that at A, so if I write that here, at A, I need to be given 8.99 times 10 to the 15 joules. 
at B, I need to be given minus 3 times 10 to the 15 joules. This means to move it from A to B, but I require less energy, my change in energy is 5.99 times 10 to the 15 joules. So I must have added almost 6 times 10 to the 15 joules to move this object from this position to this position. Okay? So this is the important part about potential, especially in radial fields. You use this formula to work out the potential of an object, okay? And then you can use the other potential formula to work out the energy an individual thing in that field is feeling. Another way I could have done this, so this is actually quite a long-winded way, where I've worked out the potential at one point and then the energy, then the potential at the one point and then the energy. I could have just worked out the two potentials and worked out my change in potential, which my change in potential is 8.99 times 10 to the 15 minus 3 times 10 to the 15. So my change in potential okay, is going to be minus 5.99 times 10 to the 15. Okay. I can then use change in potential, oops, see, change in energy equals charge times change in potential, and I'd have energy equals minus 1 times by minus 5.99 times 10 to the 15, which equals 5.99 times 10 to the 15 joules. And this is important that this sign is a negative, because a negative times a negative would be a positive, so this is energy that I have added to the system. Okay. So that there is an example of using um, potential formulae to work out the change in work in a radial field.